Good evening, everyone. I'd like to call today's board walk and oversight committee meeting, June 8, 2023, to order. First order of business is agenda. Are there any changes to the agenda from the committee? I, I got some quite. Oh, sorry. No, yeah, I've got some questions that might um, probably seem like that might be um, covered off in the agenda. I just want to talk about um, the wheelchair access. From the main trail to the um, boardwalk going toward the beaver pond. It's kind of, they can't get up to the else. So I don't know if that would come under the boardwalk programming decision. Um, if not, it could fit under our table for sure. And if the motion comes out of it, it can come there. Oh, okay. Sure. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'll put mine in the round table and see how it goes. Okay. All righty. Okay. No other changes, administration, any changes? Okay, we need a motion to adopt the agenda then. Yeah. Welcome back, Jan. <laughs> I'm just putting out all the motions. Okay, all those in favor of adopting the agenda as presented? Okay, that's carried unanimously. Okay, uh, that brings us to adoption meeting minutes 2.1. BBOC meeting minutes from way back in March 8th, 2023. Everybody's had a chance to look at them. We need somebody to move to approve those. Okay, turn moves to approve the meeting minutes. All those in favor? Okay, well, that's also carried unanimously. That brings us to information items, which we have not on the agenda today. Uh, so moving on to 4.0 discussion items for the one more walk signage subcommittee. Um, so at the last meeting, not meeting, we tried to discuss with Don Keen and subcommittee to provide recommendations to administration that will go before council as part of our overall um wayfinding signage plan. Uh, so I'm just putting that out to the committee if that's something that you guys want to form and do, or if you just want administration to do. That's all I have to say. All right, so that's over to committee. Thoughts, opinions, what do you want to do? Um, I'm fine with the administration handling it, if just do a final review with the committee. Okay, anyone else? Beth? Wait, did, was there some guidelines that we had discussed about that? I can't, I can't remember. Um, no, the way there, at the last meeting, no, there are no guidelines. There are um, some kind of best practices with respect to um, Height off the ground, distance between markers, that kind of thing. Uh, but you guys are the ones that walk it the most. So if there's a particular place that you're finding lost people and you wanted to provide that feedback, I just wanted to give the opportunity, but we can also just review it at the end as Trevor suggests. Good. 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 Um, yeah, yeah, that's that's good. Okay. Go to Doug and then you is this both uh, like educational signs or just wayfaring signs? These ones are just wayfinding signs. Okay. Um, and then in that case, my opinion would be just to let the administration do it. Basically just a map with a screw that says you are here. Okay. Um, I'm going to be curious as to what you're doing. So, uh, yeah. Because I definitely have written some emails to council on wayfinding. Mm -hmm. I have found people lost back there. So I and I have an interest in wayfinding, but yeah, sure. But I definitely think that there could be a review with, with enough time to mm -hmm. maybe make changes if need be. So just to confirm that then the intent would be to bring forward a, a draft version of the wayfinding signs for the committee to review and provide some input to? Correct. Okay. Okay. Do we need a motion for that? Uh, probably will. Yeah, I just follow up to the floor once more and see if anybody else has any questions or thoughts. Okay, seeing, uh, seeing none, we probably should get a motion to uh, request that administration uh, take that action then if somebody wanted to make that occur. I'll make the motion to direct administration to create a draft uh, wayfinding signage plan and bring back to the committee. Thank you. 
Okay, so we could just change the rest to the request still. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Okay, uh, we have a motion on the table then. Are there any comments or questions on the motion? Okay, seeing none, we'll call the question. All those in favor? When opposed? Uh, sorry, are you opposed or in favor? Uh, opposed, but yeah, it's I'm in favor. It's fine. Um, it's good. Opposed, but in favor. <laughs> <laughs> it, it it's just. Yeah, for I'm I'm a, in favor. It's fine. Sorry, that was not phrased well. <laughs> you are in favor of that? Yes. Okay, that was carried unanimously then. Okay. Okay. Uh, anything further regarding boardwalk signage before we move on? Yeah. Uh, sorry. So would would that review consist of both the sign content and where you place them, or just one yeah, or okay. one or the other? Both. Okay. Okay, anyone else? Okay, seeing nothing further, we'll move on to 5.0 action items. 5.1 potential amendment to 2023 operating maintenance plan, South Ramp Connection. Okay, so I don't know if I need to share the methods that I have here, um, but we did already approve the maintenance plan, it's now included in the map. Um, the amendment that you guys had discussed last time is section. GG, which is the south extension of the rec that are incomplete. Um, so we had said we can definitely reprioritize those um, to the top of the list if that's where you guys feel that it belongs. Um, and then Chad and I will just have to see kind of what that costs and if anything else has to fall off the list um, after we execute that item. Further though, um, we do have um, we are making some strides on the free grant, so keeping in mind, do we want Chad and his guys to do that, or do we, I want to try and squeeze that into the free grant as well. So it's really a question about do we want it now, or can we wait here? Okay, go ahead, Beth. Um, I think it's, it's drying up, it's still a little bit mucky, but I think I would prefer to wait a year and have it done with the rest of the boardwalk in terms of using piles and um, because the stringers, I was thinking stringers could be handy like to get it done, but then that's sort of a barrier for all your chat poles and stuff. Like if we've been dumping gravel in for years and years right across there, sort of creating this barrier. So I thought, well, I don't think it would hurt wait a year and then put put that finishing near the top of the priority list. I could see that being a, a higher priority, but including that with the free grant and, and doing finishing it like on the north side with piles and uh, make it look all the same across rather than using strainers and potentially putting a water barrier here. Thanks. Uh, Doug, you uh, I just kind of have one thought on it, which is the bridge and the ramps were heavily engineered as basically a vehicle road. So like they're not like the boardwalk, they're very unlike the boardwalk. So if you continue this, logically speaking, you need to build more of the same, otherwise your road stops partway through and then it's not usable as a road. And then we spent half a million dollars on a road that's not usable as a road. So I'm wondering, and I know I know Beth might cringe when I say this, but like the bit about gravel, is there any way we could fill in that 20 foot length that does get boggy with gravel as opposed to building another road boardwalk? Before I turn that over to you guys, I do have a question about that. I know that the ramps aren't rated for the original weight rating, the same as the bridge, which would have been heavy enough to carry skid steers pick up truck stuff like that so what's the current bridge ramps rated for as far as i understand they were built to allow none of our parks equipment to cross it so and not, we have the lightest utility vehicles so not, none of the gators on the side by side it's not rated for any of that just pedestrian traffic okay i can double check but we were not updated to say get out there and now you have an easier path for the other side so 
traversable by other people's right? That's yeah, that's what I'm just believe. I mean, whether I don't know the engineer inspects honestly, and if uh, a gator possibly won't be right. If, it seems all insane, but I don't want to risk it. <laughs> <laughs> so, if it's saying that, it would require a motion to request some information. I actually think that would be valuable information to have for you guys and for emergency services in the event that they have to get to the back side. It would be good for them to know if they can take their side by side, you know, side, by side rather, their rough terrain rescue vehicle. To the back side or thing out get them off. Um, I'm gonna ask anyways. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, you're gonna ask anyway oh, yeah. bring that back to us. Okay, yeah. that'd be great if you can do that. Sure. Um is it new or is it related to that? Okay. Doug, Doug did have a part two to that. Oh. Go ahead, go ahead. Yeah. I thought the council had clearly passed a motion that the bridge ramps was supposed to be used for pedestrian and bicycle access and not for vehicle. I thought there was a clear motion and that would have included emergency and whatever. Now the thing is overbuilt from the beginning, we know that, but I, I was I was pretty sure there was actually a council motion saying this is pedestrian and bicycle and not vehicle. Yeah, from what I remember, it was to be built to pedestrian standards and not to the same engineering standards as the bridge was designed for us. Right. But that doesn't mean necessarily, though, that it's not re-engineered highly enough to, to preclude uh, light emergency vehicles. You know, we might, well, we might not want to take a skid steer across, no. but maybe a side-by-side -side would be okay. Yeah. Uh, anyway, so to Doug's part two of the question, though, was about maybe using gravel to do the ramp extension, if that's a possibility. So per our okay, so, yeah. mm -hmm. um, so per our maintenance plan and approval from AP, they have allowed us to place gravel within the boundaries of already existing gravel. So because that trail is there, we could, but it's not wide enough. Um, it wouldn't be the same width because the gravel trail is slightly skinnier. Um, so that would be the challenge there. And then of course, to get your appropriate grade, you have that's where we ran into trouble with the gravel ramps on the original, original bridge design was because they had to be wider at the end to account for that, that grade. Um, so it's not something I would recommend in terms of environmentalism. Did you have a follow-up, Doug? I do. So kind of part three would be if this thing is, is basically a road and we don't necessarily want to continue building the road, but we still want it accessible for traffic. I mean, and, and we don't think gravel is the way to go for, for reasons. Uh, another idea is you just build more boardwalk and then you're just, you know, people are just aware that if it's ever used for use, like an emergency vehicle, you're going to have to go back out there and fix it afterwards because end of the day, no one's going to fall any great height. It's only a couple inches tall. So, I mean, that's always something you could do too. You just build more boardwalk and if it's used by a vehicle, you're gonna have to go back and fix a broken plex. So Doug, at the last meeting, we talked about adding boardwalk and doing it on stringers. So um, my question then goes to Chad, is there an alternate way of putting the boardwalk there without using the stringers? Um, not really, without piles. Well, with, yeah, without piles. Um... Not, not really. I mean, we could. Uh, I have to think about it, but I, I don't think so. I think it's, you know, you got to use that existing width, and you know, without adding a, additional steps and headaches, really make it wider is like kind of. But if we wanted to, we could absolutely do more, like we did with that uh, extension on section uh, mm -hmm. G. Right, like it'd be, I don't think it'd be that hard. Yeah, that's the stringers on the ground. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, that was gonna be my question. Is that something you've ever seen back if we were to like have the stringers and then you know have little holes in them like they do with the wildlife crossings? Is that the most foolish thing we've ever heard? So, no. just before I go to that, thing, I just want some clarification. When you were talking about building that board well, with your crew and staff, <clears throat> my understanding was there was going to be sleepers laid perpendicular to the boardwalk. 
And then the stringers are right there parallel to the boardwalk. And that's what hold up, holds up the boardwalk. So it's actually elevated, whatever the height of the yeah, sleepers can, 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 Yeah, oh, that's true. Okay. Yeah, I so it right. can be elevated a bit for sure. It can be brought up. Well, they're like, not on the ground. Well, it is on, it, it's on a, what are those concrete bases? Where the boats go? <laughs> Is that what you're talking about? Or wood. Like yeah. the other ones, they're wooden sleepers that are laid across yeah, on the width yeah. of the boardwalk, and then the boardwalk structure sits on them. So it's actually raised yeah. up everywhere except where there's a sleeper that lays across yeah, the, so, so the boardwalk. The one by the bridge is actually got, and I, I believe it has those concrete uh, deck. Deck blocks. Deck blocks. Oh, deck blocks. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah. yeah. So then you can, you if it starts sinking, we can. Raise it up if we want to by just adding more like a bigger pot post. So it can be raised above. Yeah, for sure. Okay. We could use it as a hand of style. Oh, okay. yeah. Sorry, did you have some more follow up? Yeah. Well, yeah, I guess part four is I was just going to say I, I like what Chad's getting at, which is basically just making a wood board rock in there with no piles, just something really cheap. And I mean, you got that gravel in there, so it's already going to have a pretty good foundation to sit that on. And if it ever breaks in future, well, that's pretty cheap to replace that too. So maybe that just becomes the thing. Every couple of years, you just go out there and bang it around a little bit. Okay, pretty good then, Okay, Yellow? Yeah, so that's great to hear. Maybe it would be nice to see a drawing of that so everyone gets exactly what the idea. I think I know what the typical that we're all clear. Because then if that's the case, then I would, say that I, I would not be in favor of Beth's idea of waiting for Freya because we don't really know what's going on with that and when it's going to happen. And I'd rather get that section taken care of earlier. Uh, Doug and then Beth. Uh, sorry, just I guess one clarification point would be the width, because we like talking about width of boardwalk, uh, the width of this little section would match the ramp prior to it, correct? So that'd be, I think it's like 1.5 meters there. I, I, no, it would have to taper down to the trail size, the gravel trail size. Oh, but it would be of a width so that you could still run a side by side on it without putting one tire in the dirt on the side, right? And the I suppose we stick to that uh, trail width, that the existing trail width, or um, without having to go through all the AEP stuff. Oh. And if you go into the into the wetland more than what's already there, then so if someone were to use it, then on a side by side, they're going to basically put a tire off one one side of it when they get near the end. Then we could, I mean, we could make it a little wider, I suppose, with just overhang and maybe some. Yeah, I mean, it, you know, there's lots of depth different options. Um, but but initially, what I was thinking was just kind of tapering it into kind of the I don't know, whatever the 1.2, but I suppose we could go 1.5. I mean, my opinion is I think you'd want it the width where the vehicle could traverse it without falling yeah. off the side. Okay. Yes. I thought we weren't concerned about vehicles traversing this for one. Um, I'm confused with that, but um, I just, I just to follow up what Noah was saying, just so I understand, you're able to kind of lift the sides when you're calling those sleepers. So that water can go underneath. Yeah, yeah, we could have yeah. we could have space underneath or even instead of using like two by twelve, maybe use two by ten so they're lower yeah. uh, yeah. the yeah. And you can lift it up. I don't know why. Yeah. Yeah. I, I kind of I wish to occur with yeah and like it'd be nice just to see a drawing, but if you could do something like that, then let's get that done. Yeah. And it's relatively cheap, but it, you can handle it. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. You know, just the uh, feeding off the guy. I didn't. I never got the new the new guy's name. That was here at the lab meeting. It was good to hear Trent say that he doesn't believe in over engineering. And I saw the engineering price tag on that ramp. So leading using that to lead. Uh, do we have to get engineers to work on that kind of thing? Not one, no. Okay, good. Yeah. <laughs> no, you, 
you like the chat drunk. Right? <laughs> <laughs> you probably be a picture. I mean, no, that's, that's what I do. Cancel crayon. I think all of our millions of viewers will be happy to hear that. <laughs> totally functional. Yeah, because that falls under maintenance <laughs> under our existing mm -hmm. school practice centers. I can't remember what it is. Our approval that we have? Our yeah, approval? approval? Yes. Yeah. Approval. Yeah. Uh, Doug? Well, I was just going to make a comment that uh, I am an engineer, and yes, that was a high price tag. But it's 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 unfortunately how it goes, right? When you hire professionals, when you are required to hire professionals, it ends up the day it costs money. There's no way around it. Which is why, if you could ever not need to do that, it is a good idea. And I didn't really say that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm super into <laughs> uh, uh, Okay, uh, anything else? Anything further? He needs to request the administration to bring something back. He wants more information. Do want a fucking request to do something today? And then yawn and then done. Well, I'd like to make a, a request to have a drawing schematic and even possibly a, a price tag, a rough guesstimate. I don't know if you need a motion for that or. Probably, yeah, that would be good. I'd like to make a motion for administration to bring back a drawing of the proposed. Extension of GG and uh, a good guesstimate, if possible, on price tag. Yeah. Thanks, John. Um, you have a question for administration. Be able to do that work this year, John. When would you need a reprioritization from this group? Um, so, yeah. Yes. So that was a concern because we're June meeting now. We're going to be looking at July before we need to get that drawing, right? And then we would have, is that soon enough? Uh, that could work. That could work. Yeah. Okay. okay, that's good enough. We can, get to it. we can get to work on it right away after the meeting. Sure. Okay. Uh, so, okay, then, you know. Sorry, my question was kind of on the same thing about timelines there, just because I'm not familiar with how it works, as you guys may be familiar. But, um, so, so how, do, how does that process work? So let's say you make a quick sketch for us and you put together a budget, which honestly, you know, takes you a couple hours to do, but then it has to wait until the next meeting for us to look at it. And then I think it has to go to council to approve. How, how does that process work? I think, well, I can answer that. Yes. So uh, the budget for maintenance, it already exists. That was already approved in the 2023 budget. So the money there, it's just a matter of this committee uh, making a request to reallocate priorities, if that's what this committee wants, to uh, do that extension off the end of GG over whatever else Chad and his crew might have been doing in terms of maintenance work for this year. Okay. And and Chad, you're confident that that could then happen in time for you then to build it in August so that it's done before September when it starts getting really boggy again? Well, yeah. Like, uh, if we... If you look back at that work on that G section, that took a week. Okay. Okay. I'm good with that. Thanks. It'll cover all of it. Uh, did you want to add anything? No, we covered it. Did we have, sorry, this is the $65,000 maintenance, 60. And did we already have something on slate for this year? Yes, so it's on your map. There's like a, and that was already um, reviewed. And um, approved by this group, and then we were just bringing you guys an update with where we're at with that stuff. Um, some of the stuff got moved. So, like for example, that hazard tree is complete now. Um, and so, yeah, the rider section is too. And on it, like looking at this, um, I'm just wondering what what we're our budgets. At. Our budgets pretty healthy for right now for this year. Like I'm. Depending on what this comes back at, I'm not really that worried about, yeah, about having to reprioritize. It's just a possibility that could occur, um, not knowing how much this is going to cost, but it's decently healthy. So, you know, it does raise a good point, though. Uh, if this committee does decide to reprioritize without knowing what that means to the existing maintenance plan, that might be a bit short sighted. So, I don't know if you're prepared to speak to it today. Or if you want to do that in July, but I think it's important that the group understands if we reprioritize to extend that chunk of boardwalk, 
what's going to fall off the maintenance plan because there won't be enough money left? Yeah, I think, uh, I don't know, I'd have to crunch numbers for sure, but uh, I don't see it being detrimental. I mean, it'll, I think we can do it. Okay. Yeah. So I don't know, do you, do you need a direction or a request from the committee? To bring that information back in July when we bring the uh, other information, I'll figure out. I'll try and figure out as best I can. I mean, I'm not sure it'll be exact, but I'll uh, crunch the numbers on what projects we have and see uh, where it will probably be. Okay, yeah, that'd be great. Yeah. If just it helped help inform the decision in July. Then. I'm gonna jot it down, but if you guys could just do like a friendly amendment to include. I can make a friendly amendment to my motion that. We also get uh, an understanding of how it affects the maintenance schedule. Okay. Um, can't really do a friendly amendment to a motion that's already been passed. So, in the past, it doesn't have to. Let me call the question later on. Oh, well, there you okay, go. Okay, well, never mind. Sleep. It was made so long and we found a task. <laughs> yeah, that's. Just this might uh, be relevant. Um, just the connection of T and S and S blue where those the rods for like the main trail is intersected by the boardwalk coming off the beaver pond and going up uh, the creek. The T like the boardwalk coming off, off of the beaver pond. Yeah, you can't get that's worn away, so you can't get wheelchairs up onto that. We had some of those oh, hijacks so rather push the guy over. Are you here? Yeah, yeah, uh, right there. yeah. I think is there an extension of this that section? Because I thought that, yeah, I just didn't get yeah, that's going to get extended right to that, with yeah, these two to that intersection. So it'll all be one, yeah. Oh, cool, yeah, it'll be a three way boardwalk intersection. There. Yeah, so it'll be sort of like a flat of the yeah, three ways. Yes. Nice. That's, and that's in your schedule. And as yeah. 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 We extend around. Yeah. It's, it's supposed to be started. It hasn't been yet. Okay. <laughs> Good. Good. Yeah. yeah. Thanks. Hey, is there, are there any other comments, thoughts, or questions regarding the motion that's on the table? Okay, that's, you know, uh, nothing else you could read it after ever. Sure. Uh, the motion is for administration to bring back the drawing of the proposed boardwalk extension of section G along with the price tag. And with a friendly amendment, to include how the proposed extension would affect the price All right. Okay. All right. There's no further questions, comments, or concerns. We will call question. All those in favor. Uh, I think that's carried unanimously. Sorry. All right. Is there anything further then regarding potential amendment to the 2023 operating maintenance plan? Right. Seeing nothing, we'll move on to 5.2. August Thistle Poll date selection. Yes, thank you. Um, we had decided that we would do the Thistle Poll toward the end of August. Um, does anybody have a preferred date? I have a question. Sure. Is there, what's the window like for mm -hmm. when we should pull this? Because it, I think that kind of it needs to take precedence over preference if it, if it matters. True. So I don't know who that goes to. Yeah. Whatever. Did you just say? Well, it's before it goes to the yeah. 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 And it's usually that end is like in that time frame, that their fourth week of August, September, September, just before it kind of goes to seed, you want to you want to get that rate. Um, so it's probably it's around that a couple of weeks. Yeah, it was right. Exactly. Okay. So we've got kind of thinking anywhere from like the weekend of the 18th to the 1st of September. Okay. Do you want to have any thoughts and comments? 
I can work any of those weekends. Yeah. Um, alternatively, I could do a email poll if you guys all would rather sort this out in front of your calendars and stuff at home. Um, and just send it around that way and whatever the most common date chosen is that they will pick. I could do that too. Committee, any preference? We want to do a doodle poll or pick a date today? I think uh, this weekend. And then, and then a different country. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> well, who kitchen's here? Let's go. Is there a preference for a Saturday or something? Sunday? No, no, for me, any of those words. I mean, well, fall, the 26th, I'm gone. But the 19th, 20th weekend? That's mm -hmm. great. Yeah, that sounds good to me. Yeah, before everybody gets all in the pandemic. So just to make sure we're capturing the, the opinion of the committee, if somebody wanted to make a motion to either uh, request for a doodle poll to be sent out or request to nominate a day right now, would be fine. Whatever. whatever. Uh, nominate a day right now. Okay, go ahead, Bill. Go nominate a day right now. I like I like the twentieth or the week that weekend, the weekend of August, nineteen twentieth. Okay. So what was what was the suggested date? August twentieth. You're okay to add that, uh, Bill? Okay. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, thanks, Bill. Okay, so we have a motion to. Uh, schedule August Discipline for August 20th, 2023. Any thoughts, comments, questions, anything? Okay, seeing none, we'll call that question. All those in favor? Okay, that's carried unanimously. So, get that installed. Okay, good. Anything else regarding the principle? So what is, uh, maybe I missed it somewhere along the line, what exactly is the plan you're going to be asking people to come out? And... Yeah, so I'll do a, we did get a couple volunteers at the volunteer fair, uh, including somebody through CAO Panasic's name on that list, so let's we'll see if we can get them out there. Um, yeah, so I'll do a comms plan, circulate that around, letting people know that they can show up on that day between next and next time, and that there will be bags and gloves and all that kind of stuff, um, and just looking for people to help out. You mentioned that you have money. Have you thought of something that might attract people in? Like I was kind of joking, but you could make up a funny, yeah. funny T-shirt. This will hint and this will pull mm -hmm. some weird drawing or something. <laughs> this is the town, y'all. I have to keep it professional. <laughs> but you know what I mean. Yeah. People love stuff like that, yeah. and it's kind of add some character to what we're doing. Mm -hmm. I love that. We found the parks and rec, so I love that. Um, we'll have to check the budget, and I can bring some info back to July. Okay. Yeah. So, and then, Doug? Yeah, I just, um, just to make, well, Whiskey Jacks have done an annual discipline for quite some time, and Chad supports us with everything, taking the bags away. So it is a matter of people throwing up, and that's what you're doing, pulling the thistles. And I think the idea is to pull the thistle uh, before like it's just put all its energy into the seed and before it starts putting carbs into the roots for the winter. And so you just you take the seed off and you weaken it so it has it can't throw the carbs back down to the root. So I think that's the timing mm -hmm. is what you're trying to to get um, Yeah, it's a kind of delicate thing that's yeah. And we can like we can it's a lot of this <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Great, thank you. Uh, uh, my question was just going to be this, so that uh, where will this be advertised so folks know where to meet and what time and like for folks like myself, uh, there'll be some education as to like what we're even doing when we're out there. Yeah, so that's part of the communications plan that I'll do up. Typically our comms ladies, they'll do uh, maps for us, right? They'll maybe even throw up a QR code. So it'll go on the town website, it'll go on the Beaver Boardwalk page. Um, it'll also go out through the rec um, socials as well. Um, we'll probably do civic send. Okay, and maybe some uh, pictures and flyers yeah. out of the boardwalk itself on on the usual way in. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Nice. 
All right. Anything else? Yeah. So nothing else for the this. Oh, we'll move on to boardwalk programming decisions. 5.3, 5.3.1, nesting platforms. Okay. Um, so nesting platforms, I think they were talked about at the last meeting, not meeting, um, gathering. Beth, did you want to look into what they are and how they work? Well, um, I think there was a suggestion because of the geese, but I mean, the geese are wonderful and we've had them nesting with goslings two years. Um, but I don't think you want to encourage geese. <laughs> like, mm -hmm. I, I wouldn't try to get more geese. I wouldn't put, uh, they, like, these geese are finding nest sites themselves. It's wonderful. But I don't, you know, and it might be that you know, every, when everything gets fixed, that for a, a few weeks there in the spring when she's incubating and the male is, he might pick a piece of the boardwalk just to be nasty and protect. And a, a platform won't help that, like that won't stop that behavior. So I would say if that's, you might have to close a bit of the boardwalk for a short period, but you could turn that into an interpretive event as well, like talking about these nesting and habits. But I personally don't think, I would stay away from putting nesting platforms up. I don't think you want to encourage the geese. We have, uh, like right now, You've got nesting ring neck ducks. Two years ago, we had pie built dreams, but they have some really nice sort of reed platforms on Maxwell Lake, and they they brought off a, a young, um, like a brood. This year, we had three pie built dreams, but two of them flew away. It flew away. I don't know if they would appear. And there's one guy laughing, and all he's doing is calling, calling, calling. Oh, like, oh you don't have a feed rate at all. So I, I, that, I guess that's my for the platforms. I just don't. See, I don't think we should be encouraging geese. It's so wonderful to have them. Yeah. Follow up question is in terms of the boardwalk as a whole, as um, kind of an education piece around all birds, is there any benefit to not necessarily have to be on the boardwalk in the middle, but is there any benefit to having nesting platforms for in terms of viewing birds and things like that? Or are you saying stay away from them altogether? Um, I, I don't think we need them. In, I think I'd rather like interpretive programs like mm -hmm. that. Pine Bell Green Nest, if you knew where to look, you could sort of see it, but you have to really watch the birds and everything. Mm -hmm. um, one, the one thing I like we were walking last night, and I think Rick Bonner put up boxes for um, um, buffalo heads, like some of the waterfowl nest in trees. And those boxes, some of those are still up and they've not been cleaned and they're not being used. Like you, they could be removed, cleaned, and put back up. Like those those boxes that are already there. Like I would like in terms of a program, because um, that's kind of interesting. Like sometimes that kind of habitat for like a waterfowl nesting in the hole in the tree is pretty limited. So that's where maybe the boxes are. Like right now, if you walk on a green trail, there's a um, hairy woodpecker. Like you'll hear them just calling all the babies. It's right beside the green trail. And you can watch the mom and dad bringing food, feeding them in that aspen, like a hole up in the aspen. And then really near to them is a, a pair of yellow bellied sap suckers, and they're getting ready. They're nests too. They're in and out of another hole. So those are really cool things for people if they know. How to look and see them. Most people would walk right by, and mm -hmm. even the noise, they go, what, or you don't hear it because you know you don't know what it is, so you're not really listening. So, but okay. those boxes would be like that's where I would start. Yeah. Yeah. Does anyone else have comments? Uh, what was the intention of this agenda item to kind of consider adding some features to encourage some bird diversity and growth and stuff like that? Yeah, it was just something that came up at the last meeting as an idea, but because it wasn't really a meeting, I thought I would just throw it back on the agenda for this discussion topic to see if, if any action needed to come from that. Because as we move forward with updating the boardwalk um, or refurbishing it, we, we would want to consider those things in advance. That's all. Oh, can you can you do things like um, like little bird boxes and stuff that don't encourage geese and encourage smaller guys instead? Yeah, I think that's what Beth was just recommending. And there are some out there, so um, we could continue on with that. Yeah, so if, if the group wanted to 
explore this, but I'm going to go down a different path rather than goose nesting platforms. That can be done too. Yep. You just need a request to administration for whatever you want, a report to come back or whatever. Yeah. You got to be careful with bird boxes. It's so much fun to put them up, but you have to maintain them. You have to, you know, in the hot weather, sometimes the babies die. You know, it's you have to clean them out. You have to make sure the holes are the right size so the house sparrows don't kick out the swallows or whatever else. Like it's not, it's, it's a real feel good thing, but there is work associated with it. And a lot of that's where a lot of the box programs fall away. Mm -hmm. They get put up and then sort of neglected. So I think we have a diverse bird population down there already to really, you know, if you want to observe and look at birds, you just got to stop and look. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I, I would just start with those existing boxes, maybe clean them up and uh, go from there. Because that's kind of cool if they do get used by a bufflehead or something to have waterfowl up in a box. That's pretty different. Thank you. Uh I don't know anything about birds, so um, maybe I could just kind of suggest that Beth, if you want to make a motion for some minimal level of program, I'd probably support that. Um, okay. Thanks, Doug. Yeah. Pro Sorry, programming. Like, um, like to me, I always think it's a big opportunity for the town. Like the town hires students to help with maintenance and mowing lawn and stuff. And why not hire a student to develop an interpretive program and take walks and everything uh, like on, like as part of their uh, program. That would be really fun. There would be lots of uh, groups like the Whiskey Jacks could help out because we do walks there already, um, but not during the day, like most of us work, right? So. I don't know if that would be something that town could consider at some point. Um, so that's actually like a level of service change because that's not a program that we currently offer out of parks. Um, we are updating kind of our level of service with parks like the Pole and Souls Trail and so forth and so on um, this year. So if that's something that the committee wanted to revisit at a later date, we could um, we just table it for now. I'll just make a note to bring it back. Uh, maybe closer to budget. Um, right now, it's just too too in flux, and we wouldn't be able to do that for this year anyway. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Anything further regarding nesting platforms? All right. See so nothing. Only one five point three point two late access stairs. There. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Um, so the terms of reference indicate that we are able to encourage warm, winter programming out on Maxwell Lake, but that we, um, you know, we're not going to be promoting people uh, taking out canoes and things like that by putting in a boat launch, right? So um, the summer programming is intended to be a little bit less. Uh, so my question is, given that the <clears throat> Maxwell Lake those stairs that are there by those picnic tables uh, near section and child, you know? Uh, there we go. D, no, D, D, I guess. D, yeah, by D, D. Um, they are falling apart, and they have been used in the past to access Maxwell Lake in the winter for skating when we had the Oval. Uh, the creator of the Oval is no longer with us. It was never a town initiative, and we don't have capacity to continue with that. Uh, it was volunteer-driven. So we're not planning any programming out on the ice, but we do know that other programs such as the Lantern Festival may return there. Uh, so the question is, do we spend money on repairing the stairs or do we just take them out? Yes, okay. Number two, committee. Uh, can we want to do that? Can we try to work? Uh, <laughs> I mean, it, so, so probably no one's going to clear the snow on the lake, right? And that's what, what you're all thinking. It's probably just going to remain snowy, no more ice skating next year or this year. Yeah, unless somebody okay. out of nowhere, but I don't see that happening. So kind of my thought is, I, I 
like it's just a couple of steps. I'm assuming it would not cost a lot to replace it. And honestly, your cost to rip it out is pretty much the same as putting one in just plus timber. Is that maybe a good assumption, Chad? Yeah, that's pretty fair. So, I, I mean, I'd probably lean in the direction of repairing it, but I mean, maybe not this year, but, you know, budget for it next year. So it's there for the next, you know, period of time in case you get another enthusiastic volunteer who wants to make a skating oval. Uh, I guess my comment is, is it Helen's position trying to discourage future winter use of it, or are, is the town just leaving it open for the next great community person to take the initiative? In which case, is there an option for staircases that you can remove during the summer months and just put, put back over the winter? Because, yeah, those the ones existing do need removal or repair, but uh, just options. Can we that? Okay, or could we? Be like uh, the dock system yeah. that we have in, in the river. Maybe the town wants to get years. Oh, something like that, maybe. Yeah. I don't know. I have to look at that. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I know, like, uh, like in cottage areas in Ontario and such, they have all that kind of stuff where they don't. Out in winter, but in the summer, or vice versa, I guess, right? Because, yeah, so there's probably a song. Oh, yeah, it's what is versus the summer use and encourage winter use. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, thanks. Anyone else? No? I'm just glad that this is part of our purview. It's programming for the lake, which is within your progress. Um, I, I think I would, I mean, I like the idea, but I, I just wonder if that's kind of stuff that can break in the future or doesn't work with the winter and snow and whatever. To me, it almost, like Doug say, if it's the same price to rebuild it than take it out, then I would just say rebuild it and have something permanent. But I've never seen anyone go into Maxwell Day about the steps the summer time here. And I, I, I myself would like to encourage someone to if someone wants to build a rink, then that's going to help them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for sure. Okay. Anybody want to move anything or just move on? Doug? Uh, maybe, yeah, sure. I'll, I'll make a motion. Maybe it passes, maybe it doesn't. So my motion is we leave the stairs as is for now. Or sorry, my motion is that we recommend to administration that the stairs are left as is for now and repair of the stairs is put in the 2024 boardwalk budget. One clarification? Yeah. Um, so, Chad, are the stairs dangerous right now? Um, like, uh, I would say. Yeah, <laughs> we will be removing them regardless yeah. for the summer. Yeah. Just so you know, if, that, if that's okay. Because we can't leave them in their current condition. So, no, like that, do you want to revise your motion, Doug? Uh, well, I'd, I'd have to. Um, how about, okay, so I'll revise my motion to say, uh, move to recommend to administration that in the 2024 budget, there is an allowance to build a winter ramp into the lake. How does that sound? I uh, just have a clarification that you said winter ramp. So are you talking something that's removable? It's only used in the winter or is this like year round? Uh, whatever, whatever is easiest for Chad to do. A couple of planks and two rails on either side. Yeah, engineer. Well then, <laughs> it's like a four foot drop onto the ice. Like it's. <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right. We've got a motion on the table. Any thoughts or comments or questions or any motion? Okay. Seeing none, we will call the question again. Trevor to read it though. If it's not right, uh, just type up before I call the question, okay? Yeah, please. Um, that was mentioned to recommend the administration to create an allowance in the 2024 budget for a winter rent. Uh, yeah, that's right. Um, I, th I think it should probably come out of the Beaver Boardwalk maintenance budget though, right? Otherwise, I don't think it ever get passed. So I think we should be comfortable with it coming out of the 2024 boardwalk maintenance budget. 
So whatever is approved for that, that would be an allowance under that. So yeah. anyway, that's my motion is with that as with that phrasing, whether it passes or not. Hey, perfect. I just have a logistical question then to you guys. So how would that work then? Would that come as part of the 2024 maintenance plan back to this group when it gets presented and this group groups suggest changes? Yep. And that's correct. And then I just as a note for myself that if there is money left over at the end of this year, that this is one I could just bring back before the end of the year. Yeah. Okay. Are there any other comments or questions or anything before we call the motion question? I suppose I just kind of had one comment, which would be um, the um, the approval piece. So because we're replacing something that's already there, we don't need to worry about any waterway stuff. But once we've yanked it out for good, we're basically hoop forever putting anything back in. Is that maybe a good assumption? As long as they go in the same spot. So one extra step we might have to take if it's not already on the map, and I'll have to double check, is whether it was GIS as a pile, right, as as items within the riparian zone of the wetland. Um, if that's not done, I'll just have somebody come out, tag it and amend the, get it added to the plan um, so that we can pull them out way to winter if we have to, and then fix them. Okay, so that helps sway anyone. That's kind of my opinion as well. Anything existing, we replace it as existing. So we have to, we don't need to deal with reapprovals if we ever change our minded future. Yeah. All right, committee, anything else? Okay. None, we will call this question. All those in favor, please indicate. That's Gary, do you have a seat? All right, anything further regarding the lake access stairs? <clears throat> okay, so nothing that moves us to 5.4, adopt capital replacement plan. Okay, I have to share my screen. Bye. I remember why I couldn't format this for you guys because I just sent you the whole file last time. So we'll share our screen. I will zoom out a smidgen. So one of the requirements, I don't know how to you guys. There we go. One of the requirements that Frio well, and West Ranger wanted to see um, included in our plan um, was to build confidence around the fact that the boardwalk will not return to this state kind of ever again, right? Um, so what I've done here is I've included, so you guys have seen this already with just the green parts. So I've been updating it. Um, all the yellow sections um, are what is expected to be part of the option one that we put in with Frio, which is the, the one that they are in favor of supporting. Um, <clears throat> so that's all of these. And then ultimately what would happen is there's a couple of blank spots on here that I need to ask you guys about what you want to, what you want to do with them. Do we want to try and roll them into the grant? Do we want to try and tackle them in 2024 as part of the operating maintenance plan? So starting up here, for example, um, section, section B. So section B is the submerged section under the, under the tower that is still existing. Um, my question is, do we, we, we kind of haven't really discussed it. So is it being removed? 100% that's where it's saying it's coming out and it's never going back in. Um, or did you guys want to try and revive it at a later date? So just before we jump in, sure. is the thought here that you're going to go through Each one. all of the points that you need clarification from the committee on? Correct. Okay, so we'll just focus on this one section for now. Yeah. So that's section B, the uh, underwater fight under the roof, the UN platform. Yes. Uh, so we'll to committee, any thoughts? Um, the good half of it's underwater, what I mean, and I just don't see, I can see just removing the electrons and all the damage cuts to kind of, and, um, I don't see the need for it. Connecting that to the tower. Like there's a bit you could walk out still to the willows, but I, I I don't see the need of connecting that to the lower. It's not it's not it's pretty far gone. <laughs> okay. uh, uh, it's I mean it's basically just a little 
viewpoint, but um, you know, you have equal viewpoints from the tower on the side, a little walkway on the side. So really my opinion would just be based on, uh, you know, once we remove it, it's gone and you really can't put anything back there. So just the interest of keeping things as they are. Uh, but yeah, I don't know. That's a hard one to justify because that one is really a useless little section. Anyway. I, yeah, I would totally disagree. I think that's a nice little section. It's the only section that follows a nice little, uh, almost like a, a river through the, the reeds. And you get to see a lot of stuff swimming back and forth down that lane. It's I think it's it's a very unique piece. It's the only piece in the whole wetland that's like that. I think the one challenge with this particular spot, though, um, is that if we, if we wanted to remove it in 2024, or hang on, let me back up. So we because you couldn't walk on it, the piles were not able to be determined, right, mm -hmm. as part of our maintenance plan. So I do am working on the tower, the other tower, um, with our environmental folks. So we could try, if you guys feel value in that <clears throat> particular section B, I could attempt to roll it in with that other um, approval that we're seeking for, for the, the tower that needs to be redesigned. Um, otherwise, I don't think it would qualify as our maintenance within our maintenance plan currently. So it would need potentially its own because the pilot were never able to be identified. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. I think this is a really low priority myself in terms of what we need to do on the rest of the board. Anybody's got any thoughts that they want to try and get the opinion of the group? Throw a motion out, please. So best way to move forward. Mm -hmm. So if you know if you want to see it removed, throw a motion out and uh, requesting consensus the group to remove it from the What's the plan called? Capital replacement plan? Yeah. Another? I would just add though that it does cost money to also remove it. Our, our maintenance plan currently, because there's no free zone or anything, though, as far as we're aware, is allowed to stay there. It can stay in this swamp as it is right now. So we can always revisit this if you guys should make a motion to say, leave it, we'll look at it in 24 mm -hmm. um, or 25 or 26 or whatever. Um, that's an option too. So can I ask a question then? Mm -hmm. I need a clarify a question because that's a good point. But if it doesn't currently fall within the maintenance plan and it's going to need its own anyways, why does it make any difference if we take it out now and then want to put it back in at some point in the future because it's going to need its own maintenance plan at that point anyway? Because my concern is leaving as a boardwalk they're unusable and look like they're in disrepair yeah. i don't like it i think it looks bad it does. and i just assume it comes out and then at some point if this committee at some point in the future thinks there's value in having it there then it can be a request made to administration to develop a new uh, authorization to put a section in there because it's going to need it anyway right correct. correct and i, I think it's really a we want to spend the money to remove it now, right? Because it does cost money to still remove it. Um, that's more what this is around. Okay. Uh, mm -hmm. Oh, sorry, Bill. Bill, I'm and then Bill. Well, I think I, I'd like to make a motion to remove the section B because I think this, I totally agree with what he just said. I don't, I don't like these parts that are underwater. I also think there's a safety factor. Mm -hmm. So I like the section and I would like to see it one day, maybe even as a dock section that can be removed or something. I don't know, whatever. But it has to be removed. Like we're not going to be using it again. So we. Uh, so I'd like to make a motion that we, we remove section B. Hey, thanks, Yana. Okay, so we have a motion on the table now. So uh, discussion has to stay relevant to that motion. So I just ask Trevor, is, uh, is you want it to stay relevant to you know, his motion? Or? Yeah, yeah. Is. Okay, go ahead. Then. Uh, so if we remove section B, uh, how does that pertain with our water act approval? Uh, if it's removed and we don't replace it with anything, 
that section done, right? So that section is done right now anyways because we weren't able to locate the pile. So we couldn't repair oh. it right now anyway. We have to put it under a new approval. And I think starting fresh is easier. Okay, so it's not even included in our, our current approval that is correct. Okay. Other than to remove it and do not remove it is allowed. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Okay. Uh, Bill, is it relevant to the motion? Yeah, go ahead, Bill. I think every single section of the boardwalk needs to be restored to its original condition prior to its um, to its destruction. Everything has to be set up exactly the way it was before, right back to where its original standards. No questions asked, no no arguments, no motions, no denial. Just get it done. Everything has to be back the way it was. That's the way it works. That's the way. That, that's the way. It, that's my opinion on this. You can't be taking stuff out just because it costs money. Somebody did a lot of work on this on this boardwalk to make it what it was, and these all these people didn't get paid for this. For this, they put a lot of work into it to make this boardwalk what it is, and what what and now it's what it's turned out to be. It needs to be restored to its original condition for those people who made it and did all that work for it. Okay. Thanks, Bill. Yeah. I totally agree. And I voted that way right from the first meeting when we talked about it. But we still have to pull the section out. <laughs> so I still stand with my motion. Thanks, Elon. Um, yeah, I'd, I'd weigh in too. I, I, and I agree as well. Uh, the, thing, the thing that makes it a little bit different for me is it doesn't fall under our current Water Act approval. So we can't rebuild it, we can't replace it, we can't really do anything with it right now, except take it out. And I'd sooner it gets taken out, and if the committee wants to see it put back in, then a request is made to administration to do a new Water Act application to put that back in. Verified point. We could also accept, like you guys could pass Jan's motion, and then you guys could pick, by 2026, I want it back in, and I can put it in our capital plan right now. Sure. Uh, Bill, did you have something you wanted to add? Sorry. It needs to be restored back to its original luster that all those people went to all that work to do. If you don't, you diminish their, you diminish their, you diminish all their hard work. And that's the way it goes. All those people did all that work for that. And just to rip it out and tear it out and just replace it and displace it. It's not fair. It's not fair to them. It's not fair to all the hard work they did. Yeah, I agree. And I, I think judging by the comments that committees made, uh, they're in agreement with you too. It's just figuring out the mechanics of how to get that done. Yeah. 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 I agree on the whole boardwalk, but this section, in a way, could be an exception to that. I know we just did that because Jan wanted the, the, the heat. Not Ron, sorry. Not Ron, sorry. Ron, Hans. He wanted that so that people could change their skates underneath the tower. And so Rick did it in, you know, to comply with his request. So personally, this is the one part that I could let go. But otherwise, I'm right with Bill. And, and, uh, Why are they over there with skates? Uh, so, so as, as Heather said, if if if, if 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 you know if somebody feels there is value in getting that put in, that doesn't that doesn't preclude passing this motion. This motion will be to remove it. But then, if we want to see it go back in, a motion can be made. And as Heather said, that it gets added to the to the capital plan wherever the committee feels it's appropriate and uh, to get put back in. Yeah, go ahead, yeah. I just have a question on removal. How complicated? Because a lot of it is right under the water. Do you have any comments on the removal no. of this thing? Yeah, it'll be a struggle. But, um, I have to put, put my head together with a couple of guys here to figure it out. But, uh, uh, you can't really get anything in there. Uh, they can, that's the budget, right? So, yeah. No helicopter budget? It's not this year. Yeah. No. Yeah, but they go to the islands. Yeah. Uh, Heather, did you want to add something? Um, so 
I think if we agree to like the you guys pass a motion to have it removed in 2024, we would consult with our uh, environmental folks to make sure that we are adhering to the maintenance or to that whatever strategy we come up with for pulling it out meets all the requirements of our uh, maintenance plan currently. Um, and I, again, I think that that would probably just form part of the um, the overall group. I don't, uh, there, in our application, there's actually a section that talks about their plan for removing it. Um, I didn't read it in detail, um, but if they they also uh, recognize that it's, you can't do anything with it until you take it out and then do something, so. Uh, Bill, I see your hands up. Did you have another comment or? No, That's... I'm good. I just, uh, I didn't realize it was still up there. I'm mm -hmm. good now, just, yeah, I'm fine. Okay. Okay. Uh, anyone else? Any other comments? Okay. We'll call the question. Trevor, you back. Uh, motion to remove section B. Okay. The, the motion, motion, to, motion to remove section B. Uh, Doug? Are you voting? I was just voting. That's all. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> I want to catch it before we call this question. Okay, all those in favor. And opposed? Okay, and that is carried five to one yeah. with uh, Bill in opposition. Okay. Um, we're done with that then. Okay. Next one. Well, does anybody want to make a motion to have it oh, revisited? Um, and let me just explain. So here there was the black line, right? That meant that if you guys removed it, that we would never maintain it ever again, right? So if you put it back in, let's say we want it back in by 2026, ideally. Um, it's great. We can work towards that. And then I will go to work on costing out when we need to do further maintenance on it through to 2042. Uh, so I would appreciate that if anybody here wants it back in, that we make that motion tonight so that I can get this costed and off to free up. I, I'd make that motion. Uh, sorry, sorry, Bill, I had Doug and then, then you. Sorry? Oh, I was just gonna say something. Uh, is, there, is this document something that's going to free up for the review, Heather? Yes. Could you run a spell check on it, please? Uh, yeah, I will. Thank you. Yeah, I have Chad. He he does that for me. Okay. Thanks. <laughs> on all of them. Missing him. Mm -hmm. I have a set as well. Mess. Go ahead, Bill. Why is it text? Yeah. Go ahead, Bill. Oh, I've just, uh, I've lost in train of thought. I'd make that motion to uh, have that carried off to 2026. Hey. Could you, could you ask some verbiage about this? What? That's not long enough. <laughs> what was it, Bill? I, I'd make that motion to have it have that portion revisited in 2026. Yeah. So section B. Sorry. What's the motion? The motion to revisit section B in 2020 2026 uh, for replacement. Is that your intention, Bill? Like you want it to come back to committee in 2026 or you want to see it rebuilt by 2026? I'd like, see, I'd, like to see, I'd like to see it all rebuilt. I'd like to see everything rebuilt by 2026, but I know that's not going to happen. Um, so, but, so you say rebuilt just, by sorry to interrupt. I, I'm sorry to interrupt. It's, it's going to be restored. Everything's going to be restored normal back to, back to its original luster. A lot of people went to a lot of work for this, so I'd make that motion to have everything rebuilt and have whatever this one section redone by at least 2026. Okay, so it's rebuilt by 2026 then. Okay, okay. we just wanted to make sure we're capturing your motion correctly. Yeah. yeah. 
Okay, so I've got that motion to rebuild section B uh, by 2026. Okay, I see Bill nodding. So yeah, yeah, oh. yeah, yeah. Sorry, yeah, yeah. Okay, committee comments or questions, Beth. Um, I'd like to see our priority list because to me this would be the very bottom of the priority, and maybe we won't get the rest of it done by twenty twenty six. So maybe this shouldn't come up until sometime after. So I'm uncomfortable putting an acting date on it at this point without really reviewing what we're going to be doing, what our priority list, and how long it's going to take to rebuild all of the rest of it that people are clamoring for, like the downstream road with bit number D, that's partly under water and close. So there's some, and, and the big one uh, from the outdoor classroom to the bridge, A80. Like how long is all this going to take? So to put a date on, this E might even bring it higher up, even if we don't intend to have it a higher priority. So if you're yeah, 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 sorry. Um, so if you're looking at the chart here, Beth, this indicates that everything in yellow is to be done in 2024, and that this is its lifespan. Right. So that this the yellow is before my guy will really even start to do additional maintenance on it. Right. So everything in yellow here comes from the priorities that you guys already set that has already been submitted to West Fraser and Freya once. Um, and all of these sections in yellow are due to be completed with that option one that we already submitted. So theoretically speaking, we know that all of those are done in 24. Okay, then. So yeah. does that mean? If there's enough money, because this says by 2026, Correct. it could be done along with all the other yellow ones. And if there isn't enough money, those would get priority Correct. and that one would get down the road until some more money was available by 2026. Correct. Um, and that was also the way that we structured our application, right? We included our um, priorities within the grant application itself so that as the content goes to tender, as the contractor is looking at that, um, if they need to eliminate stuff, they're supposed to eliminate from the bottom of the list of the priorities. Does that make sense then? Yeah. Does that satisfy your concern? It does. What about these other set, like section O doesn't have any? We're going to deal with that next. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah, we're, 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 we're getting there. Yeah. If you're not one, well, yeah, I mean, if you're not comfortable, if you're concerned that some of the other unlabeled sections should have priority over that, you could make an amendment to push it further out than 2026. This well, we won't know until yeah. we can get through them all. Yeah, we won't know until we get through them. Well, the problem though is this because this is the motion that's on the table now, it has to get called to question. Once it passes, it's a bit of a deeper process. We, we, we would have to rescind it if we wanted to change it. If we want to change it now, it's just an amendment. So, like, I really don't know like how far out. Like, I, I don't want to, I don't really think we need this. I would just leave this for the wildlife and the ducks. But that decision's already, like, but they're saying, are we squabbling over a, a date or whether it goes in that? Like, are we calling that question together as one? Because we split. I think the concern is prioritization over some of the yeah. other ones that we haven't addressed yet. But could we split the motion as to whether it's going in or not, right? And then come back to a date for it later? We do that. We can do that. Or we could table this decision until later in the meeting, too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I could do that. And I think um, I should have table is that how you do it like to table this motion until we finish discussing the other items on the table okay. later in the meeting okay so that's made a motion to postpone decision on this motion to, to uh reconstruct section b until later in the meeting uh, are there any comments or questions on the motion to postpone Okay, seeing none, we we'll call the question. All those in favor of postponing this decision until later in the meeting? And opposed? 
Uh, Bill, how did you vote? Were you in favor or opposed? You're muted, Bill. Or, yeah, sorry, but I missed that. Um, I'm, I'm going to postpone to the end of the meeting. Okay, so that's carried unanimously. Uh, question A. Uh, so, Audrey Matt, it was just unclear to me what we had decided. It's kind of going to know if this is this section. That's going. the lookout. That's that little bit that goes to the lookout. Yes, that's it. Okay. Anything needs to be done with that. I can also pull up our condition assessment. So section A would look to good. Um, so if you guys like at this point, I could do similar to what I've done here with C, where we just are planning to maintain it with a condition assessment happening, you know, um, as we're doing our operating maintenance, and then we can update it as we go. So this plan is a living document, right? Things can change in any season. So this will be something that you guys review regularly. Um, so section A, do you guys want operating maintenance only in there? Want it included in a scope for it to be replaced? Any thoughts, Kurt? Oh, I'd say uh, to save as operating maintenance at this point, if it's in good condition. Did you want to move that? I'll make a motion to uh, keep section A as operations maintenance. Maybe we have a motion to uh, include section A as operations, or whatever the terminology was, operating maintenance. operating maintenance. Are there any comments or questions regarding the motion? Yeah. Um, the tower is separate from this. Yeah, okay. okay. <laughs> Oh, no. yeah, please. Yeah, so I'll yeah, so A is the section. Okay, I think there's uh, no other comments or questions regarding the motion. We'll call the question. Trevor, can you read it? Welcome to include section A as operating maintenance. Okay, all those in favor? Okay, that's carried unanimously. Thank you. Next one, section O. Oh, my eyeballs, I need my glasses now. Mm -hmm. Section O. So I'm just seeking a little bit of clarity on O because I think, and I'm going to share my screen with something else. Just let me find it. I don't know. Where you heard that tree was? Move. Doug, can you? No, it's not sharing the right screen. Kate, stand by. Stop share. You share. Okay. So it looks like so. This is our application that we put in with Freya, um, and we were going with option one. And this little gap here, that's all right, Jen. Okay. So to me, I'm not. I'm not remembering why that was left off. The only thing I can think of is that potentially uh, section O that its uh, condition was decent. Um, do we just want to carry that on? What do you guys want to do with that section? From the tree joining the oh, yeah. around the tree. I think there's a good tree. I can also pull up um, stop share. Right. Uh, let me just check the condition on that one. So O was also listed as good. So that might be why we left it out of the approval trying to keep the cost down or the application trying to keep the cost down. Um, I mean, it's going to be there anyway. So, uh, oops, it's this, the tree was here. Yeah, dog. Was O one of the sections on piles or was it one of the sections on sleepers in the wooded area? I can't remember. Yeah. I think the report you had summarized which one was which. Let me just check with Chad. Doug, is O on sleepers or piles? Oh, I'm not 100%. Map that I need to be in that has a pile. That's yeah, okay.
Doctor, are you okay if I go to your while Heather looks that up? I didn't want clarification on what we're at, but what the question is again. So the assessment that came from uh, in our in our document here said that section O matches with our assessment as being good, and it says no work required at this time. So they haven't even assigned. Let me just scroll over. They haven't even assigned a value to it. So it was left out of our original scope. So I guess if we didn't want to do it, we'd either put it in the application or as operating maintenance, but it's listed similar to our other one as being in good condition. The wall. Yeah, go ahead, Dylan. You can ask because I'm a little confused too. Oh, well, no, I was just going to make a motion to put it under operating maintenance. If it's, if it's in good condition, well, I don't know why we're questioning. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm just gonna see if they show. Sorry, Doug. This is probably gonna make you a little easy. I know one board was broken into paintball, but that's oh, not serious. Yeah. Mm -hmm. H. J. K. Mm -hmm. Wait, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Does that help you? We are on. Is that super fast? Um, I, I, I don't I think it's on. I think it is on file, but we scroll slightly more weather. That's fine. Don't bother reviewing it, but it says and it doesn't say we have to check if it's on file, but yeah, so kind of where I was kind of where I was going with that comment was that like I when we did that prioritizing prioritization list, like we put a lot of thought into it. I don't remember where it was on the list anymore. But if it was on piles, then presumably at some point in the future, it's not going to last forever and we're going to want to repile it. But if we've already done all the sections on either side of it, well, that makes it more challenging. Okay. But I, I really can't remember. So I would honestly just stick with how we prioritized it in the first place. Um, so right here, it says number of pile, zero. Oh, okay. Well, there we go. That's not probably not a big deal then. No, no piles on section O. Okay. So the no piles, I'm I'm good making a motion then to uh just leave it as per the condition where it says good. So to move to put it onto the just operating maintenance side. Did you want to make that motion? I thought I did, but I think uh oh, sorry. Yeah, no, he's already made a motion. Okay. Here, you can take the blame. Yep. Yeah, that's the next, next motion then. Section O will be covered under operations maintenance. Um, okay. Oh, did you want to add something? No, no. Okay. No question. Comments, questions on the motion? Seeing none. All those in favor? Okay, that's carried unanimously. Thank you. Right. Um, tower is on the go. Section S. Sorry, I've been I've been trying to ask a question here just on the side. Um, Sorry, Doug. Go ahead. But is there any reason why you've picked? It looks like seven to eight years life for these these capital sections. Was there any particular reason for that? Uh, that's about the time that the parks guys will start redoing their condi condition assessments, right? And at that time, um, we'll start adding what's needed. It's just uh, right now, I don't know how long things are going to last, right? Every season, the guys go out and look, and we'll update this every season. So this is just kind of arbitrarily thrown in there right now. But we do know that the life of it is like for the piles, it's supposed to be 50 plus years, right? So really, this is just looking at catastrophic decking, seeing if we're having any leaning, things like that. Okay, thanks. Thanks, Doug. Check out that. Is the yes, the boardwalk by the boardwalk by the bridge, either side of the bridge. It's the one that's heading to B. So if we're going, we are ripping that. And then part of your maintenance plan. So that's what I'm doing here. I'm seeing now that I already put. That in there because we are working on that for the next My bad. Sorry. What is that? Next one's why. Why? Why? So again, that was a weird one. And I'll um on that on the option one that 
um, they provided us. It was hard for me to remember or tell really from their drawing. Let me see. Here. Why is the one that goes to the uh, the classroom, right? Yeah. Over well, yes, it goes to the classroom. Um, hang on, just one second, share. So if you go up to page 28 or so. So here they've left. Now I see they made the corner and that theirs doesn't look quite like ours. Um, and then in section Y, it is listed as, um, section Y is in, Functioning as intended, no work required. Um, good to leave it. Oh, well, again, just problem with it. So we can go on the operating maintenance and everything's hunky dory. Okay. Of course, if we run into issues out there, we're doing AA. Maybe you can still with it that time too, because once we do AA, it'll be tricky to get the Y. Yeah, that's typical of that. Yeah, X, B, B, A, A are done. Yeah. When at the point that Y needs to get done because it's going to have wood piles under it where everything else is screw piles, how how do we access it to do that work? It should be added with the rest of the stuff or yeah, leave it and hopefully it lasts forever. <laughs> I don't know. I do agree on it. It's not going to fix it, but yeah. at some point it will need to get fixed and can't get access. How do we do it? So, what are you saying? So, we should fix something that's not broken right now in case we need to fix it in the future. Uh, that's up to the committee. That's so, there's nothing to fix. Fix. so, 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 but the, yeah, the, the point is, it's going to be, it is currently and will be sitting on wood piles. Though. Mm -hmm. Everything else around it, all the access is going to all be screwed by. Right. So to get to it, if it does fail or when it does fail at some point in the future, it's probably going to mean disassembling some existing water line just to even access it. I think. Unless I, I I'm also skeptical of that claim of functioning as intended. Like that section is getting a little wobbly. That's I'm very skeptical of that. That's probably the section I walk most often towards that classroom, and like it's it is getting wobbly. Yeah, I don't, I don't trust that assessment. What what's the schedule for AA? Sorry, AA is going. AA will be done this year or twenty four. Well, I, I make a motion. I'm tempted to make a motion that it follows the same schedule as AA because this point is valid, mm -hmm. and then you add in Doug's point. Yeah. So I'd like to make a motion that we uh, do uh, section Y on the same schedule as section A. -A. No, much better. Mm -hmm. Let me switch back to the other screen. Yeah. Oh, the one that I have on here that you guys can't see. Oh, yeah, that one. Yeah. It's up here. Yeah, it's on the same. Yeah, okay. Uh, is section DB on the same schedule as section AA? Yeah. Okay. And, and is that as well? Correct. Okay. Uh, any comments or questions about the motion? Okay. Seeing none, Trevor, you could. Uh, your honor, motion is to complete section Y on the same schedule as section A. -A. All right. There's no questions. Uh, all those in favor? That's carried unanimously as well. Wonderful. Um, and the very last one that I have for you guys today is the oh, second last one, FF, which is now 
Um, I think we've already decided that earlier in the meeting, if I'm correct. This is FF now. GG. No, no FF is done. Is that done. Yeah. FF is done. Yeah. GG is not up. I just put them in the wrong place. Sorry. Let's see. Here. And then GG, we said, is uh, operating. Is that what we decided? Yeah. 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 Okay, so now for real. Yeah. Well, I was going to say, I, I think we can go back to Bill's motion, and I'd be happy to support it because it does put it at a lower priority than everything else. So it, it makes you happy, it makes Bill happy, it makes everyone happy. Okay, oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I think uh, Last one being the. the existing the dock that was there um that one floats on the water right so we could come up with alternative solutions down the road we could throw that one in 26 27 um it could even find its way into an operating maintenance in a couple of years um finding creative ways to put that back in if we want to okay um maybe just a question for heather but like I'm a little skeptical. Like this is basically our entire priority list, and it looks like it's all been rebuilt in 2024, piled and built and boarded in. And like I'm honestly a little skeptical. Like, what's your confidence level, Heather? Like, is this actually happening all within the next, you know, 12 months? Is this going in? Starting the, 12 months, 15 months. Sorry, Doug. I'm starting the tender with our director of infrastructure next week, and got the okay from. Um, representatives at West Fraser to start that process. Okay. Yeah. You got that? Um, yeah. Yeah. So, so, so like starting the process is, is one thing, but like based on your chats with them, what are you feeling? Like, is this 2024? Is this 2025? I know it's hard to guess, but I, I think mean, it, it, it does kind of seem like too good to be true for me. Like that was the entire priority list, like one to 15. It's like all on the first year. <laughs> that's what we originally submitted. All of this, yeah. the blank ones, which was like why and not one other one. That's what we submitted to Freedom, right? Okay. That's option one. Um, I'm actually, I put it in 24 simply because I'm not sure if it'll be December or January. Okay. Yeah. I guess where I was kind of going was that the actual priority list is still in your back pocket somewhere. So when the work starts and it may not go at the same speed that we may hope they are starting on the higher priority to the lower priority, if it does take several years, or if they're just gonna go on a scattershot approach and just do it all. Uh, no, so it's actually a requirement within the uh, submission that we made to Freya that the contractor within the RFP is required to follow those priorities. So as I was saying to Beth earlier, if the budget, um, it has a shortfall, they will pull things off from the bottom of the list. So it's not all over the place. Okay. Well, in that case, I'd probably support the section B provided it is on the, you know, the lower of the priority list as opposed to upper on the priority list. You want him to address the doc that was for yes, the doc first. Yeah. Yeah. Great committee, what do we think about the water dock on the deck? Deck? Deck. Yeah. Oh, uh, I love the dock. Uh, I think the dock is important. It's again, it's just another very unique feature. And I always saw kids doing the typical hanging their head over to see what's underneath. And the best point that she often makes that will people slowing down and just stopping and looking around while well, dog is perfect for them. Okay. Anybody want to make a recommendation for so, what sorry, should I, happen with it? I missed the condition of the dog. So the dog was removed uh, because it was falling apart, right. um, the sinking. We, I guess what I'm saying is, do you want 
us to put it in as operating maintenance in the near future for us to explore what could go there. Um, because if it doesn't, if it just floats on top of the water, it's within our, our maintenance approvals. Can, but we can also add it to the capital replacement. To the... If you want to have somebody else design it, we can, yeah. Because then that would form part of the RFP. Oh, yeah, yeah. And that's... No, I would add it to the operating. Well, I'll shut up. Let someone else talk. Well, no, somebody has to throw something in there. It's... Well, I think it's important, and I think that it was, so I like a, make a motion to add it to the operation and maintenance. Is that good enough? Hey, for two thousand six twenty five. Yeah. yeah. Well, I think I think next year is starting to get overloaded. Yeah. 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 Well, well, but I have a question though. Is it is in twenty twenty four? If there's a contractor who's doing the work yeah. and all the other inspections, mm -hmm. that frees up the maintenance budget. There's basically nothing to spend the maintenance budget on. So if that went in twenty twenty four as well, maybe the maintenance budget could go towards rebuilding the front deck. If that's what people want to see, to me, it's feasible. It could happen in twenty twenty four. Yeah, I'd like to uh, make a friendly amendment. Okay. Mm -hmm. Heather would like to say something. Yes, thank you. Uh, um, the verbs that we had from the very first one for section B saying um, what it was like before 2026, we could do that. That way, if it could happen in 24, okay. right? I'd like to make a friendly amendment to my motion that the dock is added to the operation maintenance to be done before 2026. Yeah, sure. Yeah, that's great. Great question. Good job. <laughs> Before 2027. Yeah. Okay, it used to be a two, so I'm voting on water deck. <laughs> Not a talk. But it's, it's, it's a floating deck. deck. Well, it's a deck, it's not a dock. The dock is for boats and things. Mm -hmm. Talk over on. Yes. Deck. So I never, I never saw this deck or ever used it. Can someone who did maybe sell me on it, like as opposed to just using the little lookout section J? Like what was, what was good about it? Basically, I, I never saw it. I, I really don't know what it is. For a dock without any boats, it was. <laughs> it was where, where, where was it? It was beside section J, right? Is that where it was? Was it elsewhere? Section. That whatever that letter is went out on that's how you got to the dock. That's why that thing is there, is because hey, okay. J went to the dock. The whole purpose of J was to get to the dock. Okay. Oh. It was like it was something you guys use regularly. It was it was useful. Okay. I'll send you a picture of that. Yeah. Um, like I said, it was a popular we we stopped there all the time with dogs and it's often and I just the other day there was people hanging over the red like <laughs> were they okay. Derailing things. Okay. It's just like you take section J and then you just have a T section right right there. It was probably 25 feet. Was it not even, that well? not even no. oh, sorry. like just imagine a perpendicular um platform at the end of J. Right at base. It was actually fairly sizable then. It wasn't like a small little six by six platform. It was actually pretty sizable. Yeah, you could probably fit like 20 people on it. Oh, okay. Interesting. Yeah, it was that actually, that actually does sound kind of neat now. <laughs> it was probably about the same size as the classroom. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah it's just yeah. rectangle. Yeah, rectangle. Yeah. Yeah. With railings all the way around it. Yeah. Was, well, I was just gonna ask, was there railings on the original? Yeah. All sides. No. That's no, 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 no. I thought no. there was. No. no. They were put on after yes, yeah. that's what sunk it. That's what started sinking it. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. Sorry. I thought that was what differentiated it from being a dock. Exactly. Is that it had railings all the way around it? No. no okay. okay. It's a later. Maybe a safety concern? <laughs> well, don't. Oh, yeah. Jesus yeah. Christ. Better get the engineers on. <laughs> okay. Well, did we call that to question? Did that happen? No, we didn't. Okay. We were hammering out the origin and clarifying. So. All right, the motion was to add the water deck to operating maintenance in 2025 with a friendly amendment that it be done before 2026. Okay, any comments or questions before we call the motion to question? 
Okay, so none. All those in favor and opposed? Oh, that's carried unanimously. No. I, I think we're moving over to build motion. I have to apologize to everyone around the table, virtually or in reality. I, I, I was looking at the wrong section. So everything that I said about, I, I was thinking about A8. Oh my gosh. Because I saw the little oh. B there in white. Oh, the bench. It's not I didn't even see. Okay. So I think oh. back everything I said, and yeah. I'm still in favor with Bill's motion. I'm fine with it, especially with the wording that is before 2026. Okay. So we have, okay, if it's okay with committee, we will go back to the uh, previously tabled motion uh, about reconstructing Section B. Are there any comments or questions regarding that? Go ahead, Doug. Uh, yeah, could I add a friendly amendment to the motion, Bill? If you're interested, I would like to see it on the priority list, though, um, as opposed to just in the capital. Oh, sorry, is it going to the operating one or the capital plan? Where where are we putting it? So for this one, the removal um, can go one of two ways. It can go either I could squeeze it in with um, this capital replacement if we've got the money and the contractors on site already. And then to reconstruct it is going to be dependent on our Water Act approval that I'll get to in 2024. Um, it should be back from them um, for that section. And then we'll decide based on costing whether it is done operationally with the 60000 or if I need to find a grant to pay for it. So I've just listed it as reconstruct okay. in, before 2026. Okay, well, my, my friendly amendment, uh, if you're interested, or maybe not, but it would still be to add it onto the priority list. Yeah. Okay, I see Bill nodding, so. Yeah. yeah. Okay. This is our priority list. Uh, Doug? How did you call this question? Yeah, so the, the friendly amendment is to put it on the bottom of the priority list, basically. What? Yeah, if you could read the whole thing, I'm kind of, are we voting just to remove it or to remove and replace? Like, is this all jumbled up? No, so we already did the vote to remove it. It got passed, so it, it's going to get removed. This is a motion to reconstruct it before 2026. Uh, and add it to the priority list. Oh, mm, sorry. Are, are you okay? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Sorry. Go ahead. Uh. So, um, our, and just to clarify what actually we're talking about. So, B comes through the wellows and stops. So, um, that's what we're talking about. Like there's nothing between the and power on this now. So I mean, I have no problem with just having it come out and look at it right there. But between the end of the and the tower, I don't see the need for the tower. Yeah, that's my understanding is it would be rebuilt unless for that motion will be rebuilt exactly the same as what's there. On so the it would, yeah, so it would just come out and saw, right? Because that's what it currently that's so, yeah. so in my mind when it gets removed in 2024 um her, whatever i put in for the water act is will create or the water act will create the scope we have to work within for what gets rebuilt there so we don't know if it'll look exactly the same right now okay. So I think that's important that the motion clarifies what Kenny wants to see the role for section B. You know? I thought I this like they moved it. I didn't make this map. This uh, one no. Like B should if you look at the imagery, B actually goes over and connects to the lookout deck. Correct, but it's mm -hmm. underwater. Yeah, yeah. Which is like a lot of sections that we're fixing. Yes. Mm -hmm. So if we're not fixing the full thing all the way to the lookout tower, then why the hell are we building this little thing? No, and that, so, that's what I'm saying. 
what is here, I would not be building just that, right? We would want to attach what was originally there, like Bill said, right? But I don't know what that will actually look like okay. um, until I can get the approval done. I, I still stand with, yeah, yeah. I'm fine. Okay. Um, just for clarity, okay. Uh, Bill, can I make a friendly amendment uh, to the existing motion that B is from the sh shoreline all the way to the Lakota Tower and not as indicated on the map? I think it should be all rebuilt, everything. The original, from the original developers, original designers, and the original volunteers built it for a reason. Leave it as it is. Build it exactly the way they built it. That's where you leave them the legacy. That's what you're doing here. Okay. Yes. 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 Okay, so it was to clarify that section B encompasses the full length from shore to lower level tower. Okay. Okay. Committee, I'll answer questions. Okay, seeing no other comments or questions, carry through the entire motion, please. Sure, Bill's motion was to rebuild section B by 2026. With Doug's friendly amendment to add section B to priority list at the bottom. My friendly amendment to clarify that section B encompasses the full length from shore to lower lookout tower. Great. Okay. Thank you for comments or questions. We will call this. All those in favor? Opposed? Okay. And that was carried by one with that in the opposition. All right. Anything else that you need on that one? That's all of them. Okay. Maybe anything else uh, that we want to talk about regarding the uh, computer problems. Uh, capital replacement plan. All right. Nothing else. We will move to 6.0 round table. Anybody want to start? Go ahead, Jan. And we're not going to make motions. Yeah. I'd like to make motion that uh, we ask admin to bring back a plan for the uh, for a storage location for documents for the committee. So I don't. We don't have to search through emails or. And also, that it just means that we're all looking at the, at the exact right document because. And I, I just find it, you know, the all we all have the same prioritization lists, we all have the same everything. Yeah, I did look into that already today. Um, for my parks and rec crew, I've already created a SharePoint and I can create um, an additional one just for this committee. Um, though it is tied to the town server, so that's um just knowing that anybody can look at those documents, but they're public documents anyways, right? So um, just if you guys are going to be uploading stuff in there, just know that. That's mm -hmm. okay. Okay. Great. Any comments or questions? Okay, that's a good idea. Okay. Um, sorry, I'm trying to find an email. <laughs> Well, we'll deal with um, um, oh yeah we have to deal with the motion yeah. yeah okay if there's no other comments or questions we will vote on the motion Trevor if you can read it please uh, the motion is to ask the administration to grant back a plan for document storage location you want to revise that based on what Henry said and we don't need to bring back a plan would be I'd like to go ahead yeah so proceed with proceed. yeah. Please, as per his word. 
Yeah. Uh, where do you want to have is like a storage link? Like where do you want it to be accessible? Like publicly accessible or just for us accessible? What was your intention? Well, for me, it was uh, it, it's for uh, us, but I mean, these are public documents, so I don't, I don't care if it's for public either. And it sounds like it probably would. No, actually, it definitely could be something helpful, like when we were trying to find that uh, inspection report that Heather did find, but I could not find on my computer, so I clearly did not save it myself. Um, okay. And do you want to clarify? Yeah. Like it's not, well, public. it's not public. Like a member of the town cannot, or like a, of the community cannot access okay. those documents unless one of us gives their email and they get invited in. So I have to invite them in. However, Gary and our, our, yeah. our IT, town. the town people can get in there and see it, but they can see it anyways because it's sitting in docking and shit, right? Well, my my first answer to Doug's question was, it's for us yeah. Prior, prior, yeah. primarily. Okay. Yeah. 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 The purpose is clarified. This is to just keep a record of our emotions and it's a record keeping. So when things like the minutes come, I'll put them there instead of filing them in my system, right? I'll put them in there as well as file where they need to go on the town side of things. Um, and then you'll be able to see like the agendas and everything there. Yeah. And you but you'll still give us no business. So. Oh yeah, of course. Yeah. 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 But it's just it's for like the terms of reference, the prioritization yeah. list, like all of those things yeah. that I'm always kind of scrambling around trying to the maps that you know various maps that we've made. Yeah. Bill, I have to run you guys. It's been great. Nice to be back. I have a call. I have to go. Hey. You guys have you have have a good night. It's wonderful to see everybody again. Thank you. Thanks, thanks, Bill. Good night. Bye. 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 Um, yeah, databases are a lot of work to keep track of. So, will that be organized by date, by theme? Like, that's a lot of work. I, think. It's, it's, I wasn't. I wasn't making a database. No, it's just, but, the, it's just the file structure. It's just the uh, holder that we put documents. Yeah. Heather, did you want to speak? To yeah, I've already created one for my parks and rec team. It's essentially. Agendas, click on that, all the agendas will be there. Okay. Create minutes, click that, they're all there. Okay. Free of plan. Okay. 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 Great. Any other comments or questions? So, we still have one. Yeah, there's five. Yeah. Right. Okay. Uh, okay. We'll hold on that, Trevor. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. To ask administration to implement a document document storage location. Okay. All right. All those in favor? It's carried unanimously. Uh, next on my round table, and I'm not coming down on anyone, but the website is very out of date. Not just for our group, but it still has a page for SEAC and it's from 2020. So if someone went to see our went to see our agenda for today and said, "Well, it's not hasn't been updated since July 2020, uh, 2022. Uh, just to be even more like a Beagle committee, our oversight committee website or the whole town website. Our committee, for sure. But then we I went on to SEAC and it still exists, which there shouldn't. And it's and other ones that I clicked on uh, the grant committee. It seemed like a few of them. Mm -hmm. So I just mentioned. Um, I'll take that. You don't need to hit the time. No, no, wasn't going to. No, I just you could do that that way, but since I gotta go see them about our page anyway. Yeah. I I struggle. They just hired the new colleague. I struggle with me coming to this committee, but to then have to go to Hinton listen. So I wouldn't go to Hinton listen. They don't answer anyway. We need to get some hidden responses. But other than that, I got nothing in the boardwalk. I haven't joined it. I haven't seen the geese or goslings, so we've been worried about them. So it's here. It's good to hear that they're still about. And that's it for me. Okay. Thanks, Ellen. Trevor, you want to go? Uh, I've got nothing uh, in particular. Looks beautiful. Okay. Yes? So, oh, yeah, no, no comments. Yeah. 
Yeah, the geese are still there. They're really hard to see now. Like they're a lot for me in the in the willows, but they're back straight off. And so there they are. Job. Nothing in particular right at this moment. Think so. Uh -huh. Uh, I've noticed that there seems to be more garbage out there than there has been in the past, coffee cups and that sort of stuff. So last walk out there, I carried a garbage bag with me, and I'm going to pledge to do that, you know, every once in a while. I think I, like, when I was out there on the weekend, I think I saw three coffee cups and a slushy cup. Yeah. We we normally do a garbage pickup in the spring, like the whiskey jacks, but I, it was all in that smoke and everything, and I just canceled it, and then... We never got it back rolling again this year. So a little bit of that might be there, but there is new garbage there too, actually. Yep. Yeah. Okay, let it die. Yep. Uh for myself, I don't really have anything to add. Either. Um, just that I had a meeting with our West, our new West Fraser rep um yesterday. So um, he's putting together some new costing on the wood for us that will form part of the um, resubmission of option one to three us. So I think we're gonna get a little bit more mileage um, out of the work we're gonna do. So that's exciting. Thank you. That's it. Chad? Okay. Okay. Can I ask a question? Sure. Okay. <laughs> Like, are we at the point where, like, when, when, what, when are we going to be at the point where we know that it's going to happen? Um, I don't know that um, with a solid date, but I know that in approximately two and a half weeks, it's all of the package going back for a decision, and then I think it's just a matter of when the check arrives. I guess I'm making what I'm thinking about is a, a major announcement to people so that the people finally know this news and oh for sure yeah and that is the requirement of the effort grant you have to acknowledge Rhea and you have to talk yeah. about excuse me um kind of the work you're doing so that communication plan forms part of that yeah. yeah. So where you can I can we just can you just go over this the comments for the Rams? Like the engineering is not my project that I'm not going to speak to that. Oh, you know, okay. Yeah. yeah. It was expensive. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. I just want to know where the money came from. Like there was that grant. You know, oh, I just have mm -hmm. I actually was provided that. There's two standards. Oh, the you did. Oh, I did. Well, that says right above there's a grant that paid for. Yeah, so it was the um, Western Diversification Grant, uh, which is now called the Prairies Can Grant for 140. And then there was the. Yes, that's one. Oh, excellent. I already answered that. That's what I did. The rest is on. It's well, not unaccounted for, but unaccounted for by grants. So, yeah, that I can't speak to. I can only speak to the grant, grant, which is here. Yeah. Okay. And so, the, oh, if oh, I wanted to know where the money came from, do I ask council or something? Like, who do I ask? Well, like we discussed in the last, like, do you want to know what budget line it came out of, or do you want to know what the breakdown of that was? Because we can't provide the breakdown. Yeah, the budget line. You the budget. want to know where the money came from. Um, which budget line? I'll take that. That's oh, thanks. Thanks, Heather. Okay. Anything else for round table? Okay, the next meeting date is uh, Thursday, July 13th, same time, same place. If there's nothing further, we have a motion to adjourn. All right, yeah, motion to adjourn. Okay, a motion to adjourn. All those in favor, please make the motion. Okay, thanks everyone. We are adjourned. Bye, Doug.
Sí, es, 